them up that I picked up the correct objects to solve this conundrum. What luck indeed. What in the hell is this? Is that sugar on the crown? Use Jenkins. It's one of those crazy cult members. This one looks different though. He looks wounded. Use Jenkins. I see you have come to finish me off. So the coward sends someone else to do his dirty work. It makes no difference. He'll be banished all the same. I didn't come here to fight. I'm just looking for a key. You mean... This key? Yeah, that looks like it. Can I have it? What kind of fool do you take me for? I fought to the death protecting this from the wrong hands, and you would simply have me hand it over. Someone named Rutherford told me I needed the key to enter Liberty Tower, so I can see Yelmu. If you don't hand it over, I'm going to have to slam you. Rutherford, so that's what Raffleson goes by these days. You really are clueless. That scumbag wants Liberty Tower to be unlocked so he can kill Yelmu. Tell me. What good is unlocking the tower if Yelmir dies? What? He didn't tell me that. Of course he didn't. Listen closely. Closely, I'm fatally wounded. I don't have much time. I will give you this key, but you must kill Raffleson, who you know is Rutherford, before entering the tower. If you don't, you'll never get a chance to see Yelmir. Will you promise to kill Raffleson? Sure. All right, I'll do it. Man, things over here are pretty fucked up. I thought New New York was bad. One orb scepter. Yelmir, be with you. Take, take Jenkins. Leave. Yeah, sure, we'll kill Raffleson. No problem. I mean, he's given me the key so I can get in. He's gone. Where's Raffleson? This is odd. Maybe he caught word of your conversation in the cave and ran off. Let's not concern ourselves with this. He's gone, and he can't touch Yelmir if he's not here. No need to waste any more time. We should head to the tower. You're right. Liberty Tower it is. They locked the door. Oh my god, is that sugar? Sugar gas particles are flooding in this room. Quick, find an escape before it poisons us. And just like that, the gas stopped? We're still stuck in here. Raphson wanted to kill us before we got to him, so he could get the scepter. Looks like his master plan ran out of gas. Valios. <laughs> Let's just find a way out. There's a lot of books in here. Wait, there's three books labeled 1, 2, and 3. It looks like I can pull on them. I guess I could pull the books in a certain order. Maybe the order is in the room somewhere? Alright, so we have to examine clock. Doesn't seem to work. The time is stuck at 1, 2, 3, 2. For some reason, I would have the urge to write this number down. So it's 1, 2, 3, 2. 1, 2, 3, 2. Alright. Examine the work table. There's some tools in one drawer. Most of them are rusted, but it looks like a screwdriver can be used. Uh, take screwdriver. Screwdrivers are pretty versatile. I'll grab it. Got one screwdriver. Da 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 da. Sam and dresser. There's some clothes in here. Just worn out black robes. Got one Zaubermancer garb. Awesome. Examine bucket. There's a few dents and holes. Let's let's take the bucket. No. Yeah, we're still here. We're on Liberty Island trying to trying to heal um, hoops of his diabetes. Looks like a pretty cool crate. Every time I open up a crate, it has different contents. Odd indeed. The concept of random loot inside crates has been well documented in tomes of old age. This crate must be very old. I can't carry the crate. There's nothing I can find it. Alright. Is that a rope? Maybe we can take the rope? Take rope. This rope is on the ground. That is the rope with zero knots. Has very... Wow. <laughs> Looks like ordinary rope. There are zero knots in this rope. Okay, I'll tie a knot in the rope. There. The rope now has one knot in it. Okay, I'll tie a knot in the rope. This... Take rope. <laughs> okay, so you can, like, just tie knots in the rope for no damn reason. Examine wood pile. This wood is rotten. It doesn't look very useful. I guess I'll grab some wood and see what happens. Suffered one damage. God damn, I got a splinter. Take wood. I don't need rotten wood. Alright, so we did actually pick up... 
a Zaubermancer garb out of the trash can here. So we'll equip that. So let's use the bookcase. It's one, two, three, two. There's a door. It's got to be our way out of here. Let's get out of here. Examine secret door. Just what they needed. This door is locked. Take secret door. That ain't going to happen. Use secret door. I can't open the door. It's locked. Leave secret door. So the door is locked. What is... All right, so examine locked door. I can't open the door because it's locked. Looks like you can lock this door from the inside and outside. That makes no damn sense. I can't open it. Take locked door. You can't take the locked door. Okay, we're just going to keep tying knots in this rope. Examine chair. There's nothing special about this chair. I'd rather not sit down right now. We don't need a chair, Barkley. <laughs> All right. Um, Vince Borg betrayed us, and um, he vowed to get revenge and all that. So what do we do? Use secret door. I can't open it. It's a lie. Nothing but crumbs and stains. I'll lay on the table and see if anything happens. <laughs> At least I tried. Is there something in this? In the desk? Looks like a regular desk. It has a drawer, but it's locked. Use desk. I pried open the drawer. Let's see what's inside. It's a desk key. I bet this opens the front door. Alright, let's see if... Um, use... That key I found in the desk has to work. Alright, so we got out. Raffleson set us up. If I ever see that crazy fool again, I'm gonna get jam him so hard. Yeah, we took the Underground Railroad to Liberty Island. Um, we met Harriet Tubman. And all that. There must be a key piece of information we are missing. Something sinister happened on this island. We don't need to worry about local politics. Now we have the key, we need to head to the tower as soon as possible. Yeah, to Liberty Tower then. So let's save the game. There he is. There's Ravelson. Oh, it's a cultist. This guy is blocking the tower door. He's, he looks like he's in some kind of trance. I don't think he even noticed we're here. Can you hear me? You gotta step back. I need to go into the tower. By Yelmir's blessing. An outsider. Tell me, friend. What brings you to the, this land in these dark times? My son is sick and needs to see Yelmir. Well, unfortunate as that is, the tower is locked. Yeah, I know. I got this key. Key? You mean the Orb Scepter and Immaculate Rod? What the hell are you talking about? Some chump called Rutherford told me all I needed was this scepter. Rutherford? Oh, you mean Richards, right? <laughs> Jenkins told me told us his name was Raffleson. Ah, yes, Gerard Jenkins. He is correct, but his true name is Richards. You see, Richards came here six years ago to cure his own diabetes. However, he tried to split the faith at Liberty Island by promoting radical ideas. He had no choice but to exile him but he keeps returning under different names. <laughs> Trying to start up a new revolution. He goes by many names, but his true name remains. Richards. None of that matters. All I need... All I need is that rod. Then we can... Can you tell us where to find it? Yes, but first I must tell you a tale. Oh, forgive my rudeness. I am Mac, a level 15 sugar slayer. You are safe with me, outsider. Now follow me to the tablet. There is much explaining to do. What in the fuck... What the he Where the hell are these guys coming from? I don't know, Barkley, but we are at their mercy until we meet Yelmir. Let's go to the tablet. The tablet? What the hell is a tablet? Is the tablet in this... Alright, here, here we... Oh yeah, the tablet. Alright. Examine Mac. It's Mac, going from past experience with these cult members. Who knows what dark secrets he has. Use Mac. It all started 30 years ago, just after the Great Awakening. Sugar Slayer. I, I don't know. Once we become 
aware of the evils of sugar, it would take tant it would be tantamount to sin to keep this information secret. Thus, we formed a group of the most devout Liberty followers to travel the land, spreading the word. We called them the Needles of Hope. After a year of their successful campaign to liberate the world of sugar, something sinister occurred. You see, we initially thought that it would be as simple as telling people not to consume sugar and that would be the end of it. We were wrong. What does that have to do with the rod? I don't have time for your fairy tales. Be patient, my friend. The answers will come in time. As I was saying, a proactive message was not enough to end the ills of sugar. What we didn't know was that sugar was sentient. Living, if you will, be it very basic existence. Its ultimate goal was to control humanity through diabetes acting as a parasite to force its will upon the unsuspecting populace. So sugar is alive? Once we set the wheels in motion to stop it, it evolved. Its first incarnation, as we knew it, were sugar delmans. Delmans? You mean demons? No, Barkley. Delmans are a part of the same genus as demidaemons, archdemonoids, lesser demon kin, and more commonly demons. They're slightly more powerful than demons, but this is a highly subject to the debate as demons possess imp summon level 2, whereas delmans possess a junction ability to seed powers from entities. I'm actually quite shocked. The connection between sugar and delmans was first made given the obvious traits. Excellent observations, and you are correct. So the sugar delmans knew their days were not. <laughs> their days were outnumbered. And as a last ditch effort to combat our grace of war against them, they all convened at the Tower of Glucose otherwise known as the former Domino Sugar Factory. <laughs> its destruction during the cyberpocalypse led to a great pillar of sugar being created. After their meeting, they decided to use ancient magics to merge into one entity. Das Fructos Ungerauer. <laughs> the what? Are you just making shit up now? <laughs> the Diabeasty. I thought it was only a myth. Take a look around you, my friend. The sugarification of the of our holy land is just a small taste, if you will, of its assault upon Liberty Island. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> With the tower locked, Yelmir will undoubtedly die soon, and sugar will prevail. Let's make one thing clear here. I'm not here to help you or any of your Looney Tune friends. I want to... I don't want to hear any more stories. My son is dying. Do you understand? Just tell me where the rod is. You are naive, Mr. Barkley. For this lore is the only guard us mortals have against Das Fructos Ungerherr. However, I will not press further if you refuse to learn. Instead, I will comply with your request. The Immaculate Rod lies deep beneath the island. You can find an entrance to the nether regions through the well near the center of town. Or I have some Neo Shekels if you want. You will need them. Receive 750 bucks. Thanks for your help, Mac. Wait. I will not lie to you, Barkley. Great danger awaits you. Here, take this sugar counter with you. Do not expose yourself to the sugar or you will perish. If you allow the particle count to exceed 4.5 granules per square inch, you're as good as dead. Got a sugar counter. Yel Yelmir, bless you. Okay, I have a feeling shit's about to get real here. Alright, I think we're all healed up. So we can... Use the well. Max said the rod should be down here. He also said the diabetes dealer's down there. We should be cautious. The diabetes is a myth that <laughs> these fruitcakes on this island made up. Let's get that rod. Okay, so... If we touch the sugar, we die. So we've got to make sure we don't touch... Jesus Christ! Can... All right, we have to wait until the sugar comes through. This is, this is ridiculous. We're in mines, and sugar is like freaking radi radiation. What the hell was that? Yeah, there's something running away from us. Oh man, there's so much. How do I how do I deal with this? What the fuck? <laughs> is it the radiation effect on the camera? Yeah, this is this is insane. 
Because I know if I if I make like a wrong step, my character is just gonna die. Ah, the sugar granules everywhere. Jesus, I just died immediately. Let's see. Death by sugar. You spontaneously sugar fight due to overexposure of sugar particles. Alright. <laughs> the sugar granules everywhere. God, that's that's rough. That's not easy. I'll have to go through super slow. God, this is ridiculous. Like, the, the sugar, the sugar, why? Gotta keep those granules low. Can we actually get through this area? I don't think so. Like Kurt Cobain though, I have no, I I don't know. This game, this game makes no sense. So why would it, why would it ever start making sense now? We gotta get through. Man, okay. <laughs> it's flashing pictures of sugar at us. Like 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 it's heroin or something. Oh man, what happened to that guy? Examine sugarified body. What the hell? A sculpture made of sugar. That's no sculpture, Barkley. That's a body that underwent spontaneous sugarification. The same will happen to us if we get too contaminated. Be careful. There's no way I'm gonna touch that. Last thing I want is more sugar. The Diabeastie! Diabeastie. It's holding the rod. We're going to have to slay the beast. Then it's a good thing I'm not the Diabeastie. What? You can talk. Is that a sack of sugar? Perhaps you'll recognize me without the disguise. It's Raffleson. You were the Diabeastie this whole time? Richard is such an old name. I prefer the title Reginald, to be frank. Jesus Christ. Enough of the name games, chump. Hand over the rod. You don't understand, do you? The evil you are committing. Did you ever think for a second why they wanted to exile me? I've had enough of you fruitcakes in your goddamn tails already. Just hand over the rod. Barkley, we need to hear him out. It'd be irresponsible to pass judgment otherwise. He tried to kill this. Good enough reason for me. I did not know I could trust you. I also apologize for my actions. But I believe a greater good would be accomplished, you see. I have a radical belief according to the plebeians inhabiting this island. I believe that we should clone Yelmer so that we could rid diabetes once and for all. They let moral morals cloud their judgment instead of be inhumane, creating someone to absorb the suffering of others. But who would have to know? Is it not better for one man to carry the burden that society than society as a whole? They call this killing Yalmir, but I call it rebirth. You can't make a decision like that, it's not yours to make. How dare you speak in such a tone when you desire Yalmir's services? Do you think he says some magic words and, ma and mystically 
takes away the diabetes from your son? No, he absorbs it. So your son does not have to live a crippled life. The only ever understands the sacrifices to humanity. Subsequent clones would as well. You can't play Clispe. No one can. You're deranged. Very well. I see you're as ignorant as those who lived on this island. No matter. Dear my deadly magics. What the hell is this guy? Chromatic Orb, level 19. Uh-oh. Alright, well... I don't know if decreasing power is going to help too much. But we're going to use Ghost Muscle. And then we're going to start attacking this fool. Summon Rain. Alright, let's... Let's use Dwarf Knowledge on ourselves and cure status ailments. Let's go with that ice ice magic and see if that does anything good for us. Oh man, greater earth spire. Okay, so it looks like physical damage isn't doing a whole hell of a lot. So maybe if we destroy his muscles? Decrease his stats. We can we can get get him destroyed. Yeah, we're doing like no damage. Oh no, he he ate a sandwich and healed all of his. Yeah, damn, we're doing nothing. It looks like we pretty much just have to use magic on him. So I wonder... Beetlejuice... Uh... Get some of that... some of that power back. Maybe, like, the... Maybe the Holy Dunk can actually do it. No. Screw it. We're just going to do the sh showboat jam. Yeah, that did some damage. So he's got incredibly high... Not the bees! He's shooting bees at me. Jeez. Get that shit off, away from me. We have plenty of bees when we're playing Battle Brothers. We do not need more bees. Love of God. Alright, we are level 9. Excellent. You. Uh. You don't understand, none of you. Ah. You will regret this. You will go down in history books as the man who plagued humanity with diabetes. He <laughs> falls off the falls off a cliff in the middle of a cave. Got one immaculate rod. We got the rod, now let's get the hell out of here. Oh, shit. It's the Diabeasty. You'll find no satisfaction in destroying our lands. Sugar! Glump? No! So the tomes were right. It does exist. He's just a chump like any other. Hey, Diabeasty, over here. Sugar! Game on, punk. Alright, shit. So, we did not heal. <laughs> The diabetes is going to give all of us diabetes. So let's, yeah, we, we're going to need to start this off by giving ourselves uh, baller points. And healing up Barkley. Jesus! Just gave everybody diabetes. Diabetes. So let's get some uh, get some defense going here. Get that ghost muscle on. What is he doing? Let's see. We could go with that snail zobber. Be good to slow him down. 
<laughs> it just like covered him in, s in snail goo. Ugh. Let's see what this buffed up dunk does. Not much. This is not looking not looking too good here. I'm not doing nearly as much damage as I would have liked. Let's get our heels on. I like how he, he gets an unhappy face when you hit him. So ridiculous. <laughs> that ice zobber is doing tons of damage. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell? 5,000 damage. Oh, well, we're going to need to get him back up. Alright, we're going to use a chicken fry, or a chicken do on this guy. Get back up. We got work to do. Oh, good, he missed. <laughs> He's got Asperger's. Take this, Diabeasty. All right. Charles Barkley is now level 10. Man, we leveled up, like, to 9 and then to 10, like, immediately. The Diabeastie is finally dead. Wait, it dropped something. It looks like some kind of gizmo. Got one pole shaft. <laughs> Who's clapping? Greetings, fine chaps. Good show. Who the hell are you? It was I, Octavius Steambrass, Traverser of the Skies above. I have come to retrieve an item of great magical importance, the magic pole shaft. I came upon this island to slay the diabeasty with my own hand, hands, but thanks to you fellows, that is no longer necessary. You mean this pole shaft? I don't know. I think we could use this. Very well. I would expect, I would not expect you to go uncompensated. What says that in exchange for this relic, I pledge 20% of profits I make from my mechanical bird to the United Negro College Fund? <laughs> Give Steam Brass the gizmo in exchange for the pledge. Sure, you can have the... That's a pretty fair trade. <laughs> Are you sure, Barkley? This could be a priceless, priceless relic. It's not like I was going to do anything with it. Alright, Steambrast, you got yourself a deal. Gave pole shaft to Octavius Steambrast. Jodan will be pleased. Many thanks, your cooperation will not go unnoticed. Good day. Steamblast commence. What the fuck is going on here? I had enough of this island. Let's visit Yelmir so we can finally get off this damn rock. In classic RPG fashion, we will make sure to actually save before we go in there. Single revive. Was it B-Ball Tears? It was B-Ball Shards. Everyone has diabetes, look at that. I guess it doesn't go away. Oh, that's probably us slowly getting hurt, is the flashing on the screen. Use keys on door. Whoa, both keys broke as I opened the door. Where did the sugar counter go? I must have lost it. It's a good thing we no longer needed those items. All right, let's go see Yelmir in Liberty Tower. Oh my god. Yelmir. You have come for something, haven't you? My son, Yelmir, please. That name. That name, it frustrates me. Do not call me that. Call me Brimley. Wilford Brimley. Speak, Charles Buckley. Tell me what it is you want from me. I do not have much time and only one one gift left to give. How do you know my name? I know many things, Charles Barkley. Please tell me about your son. They, that bastard, he... I sense a great level of diabetes within your son. <laughs> it's, 
It's type 2, the kind they were never, never able to cure. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know where to take him. Please, Wilfred Brimley, I need you. Many people need me. Yet I, I can only help one. Do you know why I am hooked up to this machine? I have a gift. Perhaps others would call it a curse. But I choose to look at it differently, you see. I, I have the ability to take away someone's diabetes and make it my own. It hurts me, Charles Barkley. It hurts me very badly. And because of the extremely high levels of diabetes in my body, I must remain connected to this insulin machine at all times. I have remained in this room for over 50 years, absorbing the suffering of those around me. But my body has grown weak, and not even the constant insulin drip of my machine can help me anymore. I am dying. Charles Barkley, I am dying. Tell me, Charles Barkley, why should I help you? I love my son. How much do you love him? More than I love Marine. That is all I wanted to hear. I will put hoops into my machine and I will take away his agony. Oh shit, it's Vinceborg. You son of a bitch, what the hell are you doing here? What the hell do you want? My mission was to kill Hoop Sparkly. I'm here to make sure that happens. God damn it, Vince, snap out of it. Don't you see you've been brainwashed by Blood Moses? This isn't like you, Vince. You're not one of the bad guys. You shouldn't be doing this. No, no, I shouldn't. This is not my concern. My mission is to kill Hoop Sparkly. And if you're going to stand in my way, then I'll kill you too. Aw, oh, damn. Well... We definitely needed to have used um, some of those shards. Let's ghost muscle this up and uh, do some damage. Let's see. Heal 100% remove negative stat mods. I think we just need to get some more baller points on our dudes here. Jesus Christ. We need to we need to fight Vinceborg so we can So we can get Wilford Brimley to heal our son. <laughs> Decrease all those stats. And we're just gonna we're just gonna have this guy keep using um what the hell is that? Those are bombs? Man, he's he's a tough bastard, isn't he? 19. So we don't have enough to actually use anything. Oh man, he's... <laughs> Alright, Dwarf Knowledge. It's the verboten jams. Keep doing it. Keep doing it, Barkley. Three hundred damage. Excellent. Ah, uh, he's he's really he's really healing himself way too damn much. He's, he's healing himself quite a bit. So we just gotta keep dealing damage then. We have to deal enough to actually make progress. Well, let's keep up with the bamboozling. 17. Well, we don't have enough. So what we're going to do is give ourselves more baller points. Oh, don't die. Oh. Is that ghost muscle? We need it. 
He's just gonna get more and more stat buffs, isn't he? Just the longer this goes on, the stronger he gets. So we just need to burn him down. Everybody gets healed up. And then blown up with bombs. Only a few more rounds. We should have him. <laughs> just runs up there and just electrocutes you. And Cyber Dwarf does almost no damage. Ah, neither do we. We don't do much damage. Well... We're basically just trying to win this fight with money at this point. He has so many stats. We're just gonna not even be able to hurt him here in a second. Closing in. Come on, Vince. Get wrecked, son. Alright, we leveled up once again. We have leveled up three times in three fights. Damn it. There you go, Vince Borg. Are you guys okay? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm... Dead? Hoops. Dad, where am I? What's going on? Hoops, I was so worried. I was so worried, Hoops. What's going on? Where are we? Let's go, Hoops. There's some things I need to tell you. Okay, Dad. It's Wilford Brimley. Oh, he's, he's, he's dying. He disconnected himself from his insulin machine. Oh, that's so sad. Wilford Brimley. He died so that Hoops may live. Hoops, I've known you're a special kid for a long time. What do you mean, Dad? I'm just a normal kid. I'm no different from any of my friends. There's... there's something I never told you. Huh? What do you mean? Maureen, your mother. We were so excited to finally have a child. We were trying so hard for so many years and it never seemed to work. You should have seen the look on her face when she went into labor. I've never seen a woman so happy before. I'd never been so happy before. She was in labor for 36 hours. We knew you'd be a tough one coming out, but we never expected this. What do you mean, Dad? She... Your mother gave birth to a bee ball. It wasn't a bee ball, it was an egg, but it looked just like one. We didn't know what to do, and <laughs> the doctor said he'd never seen... And you went out... No, yeah, I know. He'd never seen anything like this. It was another three months before you hatched, Hoops. But... What does it mean? I don't know. But that's not the <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. This is the first game I never took you to. There were two seconds left on the clock, and we were down by one point. I saw Marine holding you in the stands, and I knew I couldn't let you down. That all you got? Come on, if you can't slam with the best, then jam with the rest. But my confidence was a facade. In reality, I thought you'd grow up thinking I was a chump because I didn't win your first game. I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> we got Dick Vitale. That last slam jam put the Knicks ahead 122 to 121. With only a few seconds left, it looks like the Suns are going to ha hang their heads low tonight. There were only two seconds left. I didn't have enough time to shoot. I didn't have enough time to do anything. There was only... There was nothing I could do. No. There was something I could do. I closed my eyes and focused my b-ball energy. I had never done this before. Nobody had. What the hell is going out there, baby? 
It's like an earthquake out there. The tension in this arena is phenomenal. I've never seen anything like this in a hoops game before. This was it. It was now. Or never. Chaos Dunk! He <laughs> dunked from full court. <laughs> they were gone, all of them. Everything eviscerated by the chaos dunk. My team, my coach, my fans, my wife, my child. But then I saw you. Why had you been the only one to survive? Hoops. Hoops. Dad? I don't know what it means, son. I don't know why you were the only one to survive, but I believe there's a reason. You wouldn't have been born in an egg if there wasn't a reason. You wouldn't have survived the chaos dunk if there wasn't a reason. You're special hoops. You can't deny it. Whether your differences are a blessing or a curse have yet to be proven hoops. But I believe that whatever lies ahead of us is waiting for you. You mean like... Fate? Perhaps. Charles. What? Charles, I... followed you here. Juana, man. I need you. I need. I needed to know, Charles, that that I love you with all my heart, and bones, Joanna. I have something for you. It's a whistle, a dimension whistle to be exact. One toot on this will send you to the B-ball dimension. I don't know how it works, but you can use it whenever you want, and it only works once. Joanna, I thank you. No, Charles, thank you. Got one dimension whistle. <laughs> Joanna, there's there's something I want to give you. Yes. This turkey feather belonged to Marine. It means a lie. <laughs> it's a fucking... That's a lie. You got that from the damn turkey in the sewer. It means a lot to me, Juana man. I want you to have it. Charles, I can't. Juana, please. Take take the turkey feather. Lost Zalatar's precious turkey feather. Thank you, Charles. Will I ever see you again? I don't know, Juana. We're looking for a manufactured jamasite and we don't know where to start. I'd check Kuchelain's tomb if I were you. I have heard there's a large cache of it there. Do you know how to get there? No. You'll have to take the Underground Railroad to get there. It's just down the steps. Just talk to the conductor. Do you want it? Yes? Good, good, goodbye. Goodbye, Charles. Goodbye. What was that, Barkley? Are you in love? You know, I couldn't do that to Marine Balthios. Grow up. You act tough, but you fall for them easily. You know that. I said... Enough! We have very little time to get to the Kuchelain's tomb to get the manufactured Jamasite. We need to speak to the conductor of the Underground Railroad immediately. Right, we can't waste time anymore. Come on, guys. Oh yeah, what, what items heal... Insulin to re remove our diabetes. There's no way I'm going back to that island again. Alright, Harriet Tubman. You getting on? I'm not going back to New New York. I'm heading towards the outskirts of the city. Yeah, that's where we're going. Alright, get on. We'll be leaving. What's his name? What? Your son, what's his name? It's Hoops. He reminds me of someone I used to know. Someone from a long time ago. His name was Judas. Judas. He was the only man I ever loved. Or maybe the only man I ever tried to love. After he was gone, I just couldn't handle any other men. They say only the people who find true love can never move on. Maybe that's what we had. What happened? It was a long time ago, I hardly remember. He got caught up in some stupid fight and got killed. I told him it was stupid. He knew it was stupid, but he was one of those guys who held on to an idea and wouldn't let go. My wife, Maureen, died 12 years later. I could never bring myself to love another woman after I lost her, either. How long have you been down here? In Protonia, New York? In the Underground Railroad? It seems like forever. Maybe it has been. I don't know. Every day seems like forever without. But today didn't seem so bad. 
Well, we're almost there. Most people don't know to, don't come to the outskirts of Neo New York unless they're running from something. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know if you're wrong or right, really. It, it's not my business. Harriet, I want to thank you for bringing us out here. I don't know why you're thanking me, Mister. This place is as close to hell as you can get without being there. Not too many people live out here, and the ones that are here are only here because they've got nowhere else to go. But I don't think you're like these people. Harriet, thanks. Be careful. And take care of your son. Is there like a save point around here? Barren outskirts. The chump mines. What in the fuck? Huh? What's going on here? We as Dorgers can no longer tolerate the injustices upon us <laughs> by our genie captors. For too long have we allowed them in Square Enix Goy to force, force us to mine chumps. No. No longer, I say. My father mined for rubies and gemstones, as did his father, his father before him, and his before him, and so on. To be reduced to mining chumps for genies, they've They'd be ashamed of us. Here, here. What do you say we do, Jamal Blood Guzzle? I say we go on strike and give these genies who would disturb our right to accumulate treasure for our ghoulish your gods a piece of our minds. Aye. I'm with you. We'll toil no longer for the genies until we can get a better contract, one that grants us all the civil ci civil liberties that Dwegars are entitled to. It seems we've come to a Square Enix Goya run mine. That's run into a few labor problems. Perhaps we can find some way to help. You guys are getting me dragged into shit I have nothing to do with. This is an every man for himself po post cyberpocalypse. I don't have time for this shit. I don't even know what we could do to help them. These are Dragar, Sparkly, my brethren. At least grant me the courtesy to visit them. It's been far too long since I have walked amongst the dwarves. I thought you were from space. Fine, we can't involve with this. We can see what's up with this, but I'm not getting involved in this shit. Aye, these are the Chup Mines, home of the Durgos, and recently our genie masters. Curse all genies, big and small. No matter what their size or shape, I want to, I want to batter them with a spike lightning warhammer and sorcelled with eldritch enchantments. Enchantments? I'm sorry, I got carried away, but Durgos are predisposed towards violence and sorcelled weaponry. Regardless, my ebony friend, these genies have taken away our rights, and we demand them back. Be warned, if you are part genie, your blood will be spilled. These are like angry panda people or something. Indeed, I am Fredegar Murderstone, and I have murdered many a man and beast in my lifetime. I have done so for many reasons, but namely for coins and rubies. One night I broke into the zoo and murdered the fauna. It seems not even the great apes are susceptible to the blows of my foil. <laughs> But <laughs> he broke into a zoo and murdered a bunch of animals. Well, last I've grown old and weak and can no longer murder as I did in my youth. All right, what what the fuck? All right, so this is the barren outskirts. Is there really? Did I miss a gas pump here somewhere? All right, probably in the chump mines then. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything really stupidly obvious. Wait, what? I was like, I can't go up? Something weird was going on with that Foxy wouldn't allow that to happen. Alright, let's see. So there are genies here. Greetings, stranger. I am an ancient genie who has granted many thousands of witches. Perhaps I could grant yours. I was rubbed from a lamp many years ago. My mission is to steal silver rights from dragons. Perhaps you could call this racism, but that is one of the main goals of all genies. Lately, though, it seems like our efforts to fully dehumanize the dragons have been impeded by their blasted strike. If you could somehow aid our quest of intolerance, I am sure I could give you my jodhpurs of the falcon. Sure, let's help you demonize, dehumanize this. Hmm, those Dorgars think they have the right to eat Dunkaroos. Don't they realize we genies have been rubbed out of magical lamps? What fools! 
to even begin to believe that they're the same civil rights as Genies, Toy Guards are simply a means to an end. And that is precious chups for the Square Enix Goya. Greetings, young one. I see that you could not resist the tempting allure of my bubbling brews and potions. Maybe a Dargar has gulped my Eldritch Tonics. Perhaps you'd like as well. Tell me, young one, how far away did you detect the scent of my arcane concoctions? Detect Detection of potion scent, 100 feet. That's my boy. That's my boy. But no matter. It seems production of my treasure concoctions has been slowed tremendously because of the nefarious genies, and I am becoming malnourished, you see. All eat or drink is elixirs. If something isn't done and soon, well, my bruise may bubble no longer. And if you were able to do something about it, I might even pass on a few of my tinctures to you. The cool air of the dank cave, littered with gemstones, unmined. Is there truly nothing better? Ah, greetings, stranger. I did not notice you there. I was simply musing to myself about caves and sewers. My name is Pelfok the Dyer, and I am called that because I am a Dyer Dwaygar. We are like normal Dwaygars, but our love in rubies and gemstones is increased tenfold. In addition, we are simply more dire in demeanor. I am an advocate of all caves and sewers. This include dank sewers and mysterious sewers. Sadly, it has been many years since I last set foot in a sewer, as the geni genies have outlawed sewers. <laughs> What I wouldn't give to walk in the sewers but once more. You got some weird ass people in this game. Abracadabra and Alakazoo, you just caught me as I was conjuring up an ancient genie hex on the Droigars. Lately, we genies have been contemplating importing sludge elves to help the Droigars and sludge elves. Have a long standing feud, and there's no doubt that Durgars would object fiercely. This is precisely why we need to do this. This is merely my own personal philosophy, but I believe we should display our intolerance for Durgars on every level. Help, help me. Are you alright? What's the matter? Dunkaroos. I require Dunkaroos. What the hell is a Dunkaroo? Come on, Pap, don't be such a rube. The delicious cookie snack that you dunk in velvety frosting hints the dunk in the dunkaroo. I uh, knew that, oops, I just I just didn't remember. They've been feeding us nothing but vitamin C. I, I need a dunk. <laughs> dunkaroo. He passed out. This is serious, Dad. He really needs those dunkaroos. There are two things that Dwaygar can't resist, Barkley. One is rubies, and the other is a dunkaroo. This is grave indeed, then. Grave indeed. Dunkaroos. Okay, so we need to find this dude some cookies. What is this? Is a page in a book? Hey, there's a note here. Maybe somebody dropped it. Let's take a look. Dear genies, I think we should try to be as racist as possible to the Jokers. <laughs> if we can, let's just try to take away their civil rights, such as the right to wear gem encrusted amulets and the right to eat anything else but vitamin C. Sincerely, Mohammed Genie Bane, chief of all genies combined. This is certainly concerning. It looks like a genie may have dropped it. If this is real, it implies the existence of a conspiracy that goes beyond the realm of Square Enix Goya. I think we better get to the, the bottom of this and find out what's really going on in the chump mines. Yeah, this is like racist genies. Halt, friend or foe. Um. Bo. Jesus, what the... You got me going there for a minute. I really thought you were a foe. I suppose since you're not my enemy, I can tell you my story. This is Shaquan Dwarf Malice. I just used... I used to be the strongest Drogar in all the Chup Mines. They call me the Bastard of Muscles. <laughs> and that's just what I was. I could lift two Drogars over my head at the same time and punch through friend and foe. But then I went blind. My muscles atrophied... I can do nothing but knit patriotic quilts to keep myself warm. But now that the genies have outlawed all patriotic quilts, I can't even do the, that one thing I had left. Grishtarm, our ghastly dogger deity, bless this land and people and gives me the courage to continue with my patriotic quilt production. What the fuck? No, we demand the right to rubies and gemstones. Gilded treasure is part of the Dorgar heritage. That's something you can't take away from us. Glittering goblets and chalices are one thing, but rubies and gemstones, unforgivable. 
I'm sorry, but studies have proven that rubies and gemstones promote laziness in the workplace and minimize efficiency. Square Enix Goya wants to ensure maximum efficiency and quality in the mining of all shops. That's ridiculous. Rubies and gemstones are, an es are the essence of Dwaygars. A Dwaygar without a dazzling ruby is like a genie without a lamp. That... that was uncalled for. What's going on here? We're discussing the terms of the Dwaygars return to work from strike. You're Charles Barkley, aren't you? Now look, I don't want to get involved in none of this malarkey. I've got nothing to do with magic lamps and gemstones. Wait, wait, I, I think we need the input of a third party on this issue. Someone who is already an established member of the community. What are you implying, Chief Blood Guzzle? That because Charles Barkley is a third party that represents the Isaac interest of neither of us, you would be able to more effectively negotiate the terms for our return to work. Look, I said I don't want nothing to do... Dad, this is your chance to do something really good for the world. You have the chance to make someone's life better. You've got the chance to give back to the dwarves after all they've given you, Barkley. You've got the chance to serve your country in Square Enix Goya. Dad, I believe in you. I know deep down you know what's right and what to do. So will you do it? Will you mediate for the Declaration of Dwarger Rights? Mediate for civil rights. Alright. Fine, I'll do it. But I want you to know I don't give a damn either way what happens. It is noble of you to agree to help us, Charles Barkley. You are truly a man of character. I'm no role model. The format for the Declaration of Dwarger Rights is simple. You'll be asked a question and you'll be presented a number of answers. Choose the answer you most agree with. Some of the answers will favor one party over the other, while others will be compromises. I'm not asking you to favor us, Dwarger as Charles Barkley, but please consider each question carefully. Are you ready to make the Declaration of Dwarger Rights? As ready as I'll ever be, I guess. What is your opinion of sludge, sludge elves? God bless the sludge elves. <laughs> Can no more coexist than fire and water. How do you feel about the current sewer crisis? All sewers have a purpose. Get lost in the sewers. I am anti-sewers. I do not like sewers. What should be the primary diet of all Dwargars? Dunkaroos, oats, figs, or vitamin C? Um, I think they should eat Dunkaroos. Should we remove the ban on bubbling tinctures and elixirs? All brews are now legal. Urban tinctures, but not elixirs. Only if they're arcane. Destruction of all brews. All brews are legal. What should be done about ensorcelled weaponry? Remove all gypsy hexes from hexes. <laughs> Your stance on Dorgers with patriotic quilts. God bless this land, not quilts. No patriotic quilts allowed. How many hexes can be placed on each Dorgar? Uh, all, all of them. What is the maximum ratio of gilded chalices to rubies? Rubies, rubies, rubies. One chalice per five rubies. One chalice per twenty rubies. No chalices permitted. Uh, one chalice for five rubies. How many caverns is each drugger allowed to spelunk? Ten caverns, ten dungeons. Fantasy caverns are verboten. Yeah. No, no doing that. Are you sure these are the stances you will take? Yes. Okay, so <laughs> Your proposals, Barkley. They favor the genies, just as I expected. You've done your country a great service, Charles Barkley. You've put the welfare of many over the elite view. You put the industry and commerce of Square Enix Goya over the gripes about rubies of a few obsidian black game dwelling midgets with a penchant for enchanted maces. I think a reward is in <laughs> Got one genie lamp. This is a magical lamp rubbed by many aristocrats and sultans. Now you too can rub it, Charles Barkley. When you need assistance, rub the ramp the lamp and the genie dwelling with them will grant a wish. It's a powerful tool, so do not misuse it. You can only be used once. Well, I mean, we could have used that to, like, heal our, our diabetes or something, right? And nowhere there's a genie, there's a friend. The Dorgars, what fate has befallen us? Alright, so you guys suck. Let's see if that... Now that we've not... We've unoutlawed potions does this guy have anything for us you did it my boy you're giving back my primary form of substance chemicals 
I'm preparing you a particular.